Hi friends, welcome to Santosh Reddy Commerce Academy. My name is Santosh. So in this video, we are going to discuss about CA Foundation course. So we are going to have some brief discussion about CA Foundation course. After intermediate, this CA Foundation course is a six months course. So who are eligible for this course? Who can do this course, CA Foundation course? It may be MB, MEC student or CEC student or MPC student. Any of these students can join in the CA Foundation course. Not only MEC, CEC, MPC and BIPC students also can join in the this is CA Foundation course. It is a six months course after inter. So batch starts from June 1st. So if you join in the batch in June 1st, your exam will be in the December. So almost six months, it is a course, CA Foundation course. Now, what is the syllabus in the CA Foundation course? Now we are going to discuss. This CA Foundation course will contain four papers. Paper one, paper two, paper three, paper four. Paper one is a accounting paper. This is called principles and practice of accounting. It is a hundred marks. Each paper is a hundred marks paper. It is a totally descriptive. Descriptive means you have to answer the questions. Descriptive, descriptive type. So it is a three hours duration. Exam duration is three hours. Next to paper two, business law and business correspondence and reporting. This paper two is again divided into two parts, section A and section B. Section A and section B, one second. So paper two is again divided into, paper two is a business law and business correspondence and reporting. This paper two is also a 100 marks paper, but this paper two is divided into two sections, two subparts, section A, section B. Section A is a business law, section B is a business correspondence and reporting. This business law is a 60 marks, this business correspondence and reporting is a 40 marks paper, it is also descriptive. Next, come to paper 3. Paper 3 is a maths, maths paper, maths and statistics, business mathematics, logical reasoning and statistics paper. This paper 3 is divided into three subparts, part A, part B, part C. Part A is a business mathematics, part B is a statistics, part C is a logical reasoning. Part A will contain 40 marks, part B will contain 20 marks, part 3 will contain 40 marks, total 100 marks paper, but is a NCQ, multiple choice questions, multiple choice questions. It is a two hours paper. Next to paper four is a business economics and business commercial knowledge. So economics paper, but commerce, business and commercial knowledge is also is added. So paper four is again divided into two subparts, part A, part B. Part A is a business economics, part B is a business and commercial knowledge. Part A will contain 60 marks weightage, part B will contain 40 marks weightage, but it is a MCQ. This is also multiple choice questions, two hours paper. So total in CA foundation, you are having four papers, 400 marks. But paper one, paper two, accounts and law, business law is a descriptive type. Paper 3 and paper 4 is a multiple choice questions. This is also 100, 100, total 400 marks. Out of total 400 marks, what is the pass marks? How much I should get in order to go through CA Foundation course? See, here one log is, logic is there. In each paper, you should get 40 marks. In each paper, you should get 40 marks. And overall, Overall means overall total marks you should get 200, 200 marks. So the logic is in each paper you should get minimum 40 marks. That means 40 into 4, 160 marks. And extra 40 marks you should get from somewhere. Suppose in paper 1, one second. Suppose in paper 1 I got 70 marks. In paper 2, I got 40 marks. In paper 3, I got 50 marks. In paper 4, I got 60 marks. Total overall should be 200, minimum 200. Suppose in paper 1, I got 80 marks. In paper 2, I got 30 marks. 
that means you failed CA foundation. That means in each paper you should get minimum 40 marks and overall including all four papers should be 200 marks. That means indirectly they are telling that 50% is the pass percentage. In each subject you will get minimum 40 marks overall on all subjects you should get 50 marks then you qualified as a CA foundation. Then you qualified CA foundation. Clear? Now we will discuss about one by one paper. Paper 1 is a very scoring subject, principles and practice of accounting. Out of 100 marks, if you perfectly practice, you can get 70 marks very easily with the inter syllabus. Normally, in the inter MECRC -E student can get easily 70 marks if you are perfect knowledge about inter. Like same, what are the points you have to focus like partnership accounts, company accounts, Partnership accounts, company accounts, like basic accounting. Basic accounting means general entries, like ledgers, whatever may be, trial balance, whatever may be. Basic, if you are, if you are perfect in MEC and CEC accounts paper, then you can easily get 70 marks in the paper one. 70 marks means 200 overall criteria, you can, very, you can reach very easily. It is very scoring subject, paper one accounts. Next, when come to paper two, paper two, what is the paper two? Business law and business correspondence and reporting. This is having two subsections, section A, business law, section B, business correspondence and reporting. See, paper two, in paper two, section A, business law is a 60 marks. In this paper, it is very practical paper. Business law is a practical paper. So out of 60 marks, you can get 40 marks. In this, you should be very safe out of this business law because next to section B business correspondence and reporting is a dry subject, theoretical subject. Maximum you will get, even you practice so much also, maximum you will get 20 marks. So more focus, your more focus should be on the business law in order to go through paper two because business law will contain 60 marks. It is a practical subject. Easily you can get 40 marks if you focus on business law, then you are safe. Don't depend on business correspondence and reporting. Oh, you have to focus, at least you should get 20 marks, then you will be in the safer side. So paper two, focus on business law, then you will be in the safe. Next, come to paper three. Paper three is a business mathematics, logical reasoning and statistics. So most of the students, CEC students will be fear about paper three. MEC students will get more marks in the paper three. But CEC students, who is not having mass knowledge will face some problem in the paper three. But you are also having a good option. Now look at here. Paper three is divided into three parts. Part A, Part B and Part C. What is Part A? Part A is a business mathematics. This is 40 marks. For CEC students, it may be a tough. What is the tough? Part A may be a tough because it is a business mathematics. What you will contain in the business mathematics, like ratios, like ratio, proportions, equations, linear inequalities, time value of money. Likewise, you will have business mathematics, 40 marks weightage. It is very tough for the CEC students to gain a more marks in the business mathematics. Easily you can manage 20 like or 15 marks like that in business mathematics. But the MEC student will get almost uh, 30 to 35 marks in the business mathematics itself. Part A. Sir, then it is very easy. Then it, then it is very hard to pass the CA foundation for CEC students. It is not a hard. Then you can focus on part B and part C. Part B is a statistics. Part C is a logical reasoning. CEC students also can easily do this statistics and logical reasoning. Mass knowledge is not required. What is the remaining marks in the statistics and logical reasoning? 20 and 40, 60 marks. You can get 40 marks. Out of these 60 marks, you can get 40 marks in the statistics and logical reasoning. CEC students also can pass easily paper three. But however, definitely MEC student is having more advantage because he is having business mathematics. He is knowledge in the inter, in the normal inter, he studied business mathematics. He can get very good score in the paper three. What about CEC students? 
CSU students also can survive with 40 to 45 marks or 50 marks if you focus on part B and part C. Clear? Multiple choice questions. Next, come to paper four. What is paper four? Business economics. Business economics. Business economics means normal economics, whatever you studied in the inter, like MEs or CEC students. Business economics, like uh, theory of demand, prices, inequalities, price, like whatever you studied in the economics, you can same economics, almost 90% same economics are there in the paper four, what you studied in the uh, normal inter MEC or CEC, like business cycles, like theory of consumer, law of demand, elasticity, elasticity of demand. So most of the students will get more score in the business economics if you are a inter MEC or CEC students, 60 marks. You can get minimum 40 marks out of the 60 marks if you are perfect in the inter MEC or CEC. This is normally your economics what you studied in the first year, second year of your inter. Another dry subject is not a dry subject, it is also a some practical subject, business and commercial knowledge. Business knowledge, one CA student should have a business knowledge and commercial knowledge. Business knowledge means like what is partnership firm, what is partnership firm, what is uh, limited liability partnership, like uh, how many types of, uh, what is CEO, CFO, like how many types of levels are there, management levels. This is also most important subject, business and commercial knowledge, paper four support. 40 marks. At least you can get 20 marks if you focus on this part B also. Part A you can get 40 marks. Part B you can get 20 marks. So usually you can get up for 60 marks in the paper 4 also without any difficulties if you are a MEC or CEC student. However, for MPC and BIPC student, except paper 3. For MPC students, paper 3 you can get 80 marks. MPC student can get in the paper 3 almost 70 to 80 marks. In the accounts, they can get minimum 40 to 50 marks. MPC students also can easily pass the CA foundation. So this is the way you can plan in which area you are a strong. So candidates should attain minimum 40 marks in every subject. So in each subject, you should get minimum 40 marks. Overall, a minimum of 50% aggregate marks in all papers, including all papers, you should get 200 marks, 50% out of 400. So in our institute, in our Sandra City Commerce Academy, we will give the training for separate CA foundation for MBC and CEC students and separate batch for MPC students and BIPC students. So batch starts from June 1st, this six months course. So you can take a decision. Thank you.